So our final one is all about experience. And when it comes to that, I do think that um, having the presentation of the gameplay experience is paramount in these situations. Not just the act of actually playing, but how the game is presented. And this is one of those things that can go a lot of different ways. But stuff like Session Zero, stuff like Primers, stuff like... um presenting handouts to pl to players that will help get them immersed is definitely um, part of the stock and trade of it. Um, what I'm reminded of is when I had a conversation a while back about Trader Joe's versus other grocers, where a company like that knows that it has no way to compete with, bi with more big box ones in terms of content, so instead, it focuses on the in-store experience, which I think is a move that um, a lot of a lot of game stores are ca are capitalizing on, with the emphasis of being able to rent out a certain area or a certain table to play whatever games they have on their walls. And you're also seeing this when it comes to the whole restaurant and arcade thing. You're there largely for the experience more than you are for the food. Which I'd say has helped keep the arcade experience alive because pure arcades have kind of been phased out um, at the very least here in the States. Obviously, they're going to have a much bigger impact in other countries and especially in Asia, but it is what it is. And... That's also the reason why I think that this sort of tailored experience is how gaming stores are going to survive. If any gaming stores survive this whole coof thing, it's going to be from not not advertising a given product because Lord knows some of the people making those products would be willing to throw stores under the bus to get to a big box store, but more focusing on the experience. And I think the ultimate capstone with this was the reasoning given for why um, Cyberpunk Red is going to wait. That they didn't, want, they didn't want to throw their retailers who had worked with them under the bus. Especially since some of those retailers had um, kept their stuff alive when everyone thought that our Talsorian Games was dead. I find that very admirable.